Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Medical imaging is a discipline recognized around the world. Virtually every society hedges their diagnostic capabilities on this technology. Specialists around the world exchange experiences and knowledge to revolutionize the industry into one of the most sophisticated in the world. Here in the United States, there are many foreign nationals that inquire about getting certified as an imaging specialist, temporary or otherwise. Due to the vast market opportunities, respectable income, and the ability to specialize in different modalities, people around the globe have requested of us here at the Radiology Coach to provide information on getting certified in the States, and we are glad to oblige them. First. The central hub for screening and approving registered radiologic technologists is the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists. They determine approval standards and testing qualifications. Additionally, they are the gatekeepers for admitting foreign professionals into the industry. This includes those seeking work within radiography, MRI, CT, nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, interventional radiography, ultrasound, and vascular sonography. Radiology PAs are also considered. Some of these specialties require more than one credential from the ARRT, so we'll address only the general radiography spectrum in this video. For a foreign national to sit for the ARRT registry examination, you are required to meet a few standards. First, you must earn an associate's degree or higher from an accredited institution. It is very important to understand that the institution or university must be accredited by an agency recognized by the ARRT. This is critical because it verifies that these schools have met minimal standards of education comparable to the other competitive countries. To find out if your program is recognized, first determine which agency has certified your institution. If they are a member of either the Association of International Credential Evaluators or the National Association of Credential Evaluation Services, then your program is approved. If you live in Australia, Great Britain, or Canada, chances are that your program has already been approved as these nations use similar credentialing processes as the United States. In addition to completing an associate's or better program, you must complete an ARRT recognized radiography program. We have links below that will help you to determine if your program meets this criterion. If either of these requirements have not been met, then the candidate will not be able to apply for certification with the ARRT. They must seek out approved programs or consider waiting until they can get further schooling in the U.S. One additional option is to apply for advanced placement within one of these approved programs. Your previous education will be taken into consideration and thus may shorten your academic requirements. In addition to your education requirements, you'll need to submit paperwork or documentation that proves that you are not guilty of ethics violations or criminal activity. This includes a background check and questionnaires that can validate your history. The type of violations that can create roadblocks in your application process may include misdemeanor or felony charges, military court martials, disciplinary actions under national, state, or regulatory agencies, or ethics violations. If you have been found guilty of these types of offenses at any one point in your life, you can still submit an ethics review pre-application form providing information on the offense and a brief explanation of the events. A review board will consider the evidence and make further recommendations on your behalf. Last, you'll need to sit for the ARRT registry examination. This is a 200 question test that determines your level of knowledge related to radiography. It usually lasts for three to four hours. Preliminary results will be available immediately, but all final scores are sent in the mail within four weeks. We've provided links below that will help you in getting the right answers on your path to a medical imaging career. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Please feel free to provide comments. Becoming a registered radiologic technologist in the United States is an honor. It isn't easy and it requires commitment, but ultimately it can yield a rewarding career in many different directions. 
That concludes this segment on certifying foreign x-ray operators in the U.S. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.